All right, here we go with the Nest. I uh, just want to do a quick run through, show you some of the cool features. Let's dig in here to the settings first. Uh, here we go, we have the automatic fan. I have that turned on. There's a cool lock feature. What this does is you can set a lock to uh, basically, you set a range of temperature, the four digit pin. So let's say you have kids and you want to be able to keep a temperature within this range. Um, let's say you set between, uh, they can set it between 70 and 75. This keeps them from turning it way down to like 65 and having the AC work extra hard. That's cool for parents, I think, um, to be able to set that pin. There's the away temperatures that I have set, so when I it detects that I'm away or I tell it that I'm away, it keeps it within that range. I have it between 60 and 80. There's the Nest Sense. There's a couple different things in here. I have the auto away. You can turn that on or off. Um, I have it on, so it no senses. It no it's, works great. I've been using that. and. Anytime I go away, I'll check in with the app later on, and I'll, and I'll see that it's auto. It's set it to auto away because it's detected I'm at work or whatever. The auto schedule, that's learning based on the temperature you set and what time of day you set those temperatures. So it just learns as you are, the more you use it and um, when your schedule changes, just is all the temperatures you've set it. So anytime you set a new temperature, it's kind of learning to figure out are you, is this something you do often? Is it just a one-off thing? That type of thing. Uh, and time to temperature, what this does is it figures out how long it takes to get to the temperature that you set, so it'll start a little early. So the time, um, the program that is scheduled, it'll be close to that temperature by the time you get home. Early on, just it starts the cooling or heating early. I just have that on, on schedule. Cool to dry. This just uses additional uh, cooling to keep the humidity lower. This just is going to use more electricity and that type of thing. So I just have it off. I don't really care. It's humidity's not too bad. Sunblock is if you have your nest installed in an area where the sun's always beating, you're going to get higher temperatures. So it's going to try to uh, AC is going to run a lot more. So what this does it helps uh, protect against. Um, those higher temperatures and your AC should run like it should. It's not going to run extra just because this is sitting in the sun. I have it off because um, mine's in the hallway so it doesn't really matter. As you can see I'm just letting you guys read it if not. There's the leaf. What this does is it just it appears anytime you're setting in a, a energy efficient temperature. And then airway. What this does is it keeps the uh, fan running after the air conditioners are off to also save a little bit of energy. There's a lot of cool little features in here. Right now I just have it learning. Now all that stuff just adds up over time so that's kind of a cool cool thing. I have air filter reminders. We could we can turn the brightness high, auto, low, whatever. I like to keep it on medium. Um, we can have the screen approach and uh, turn on when we approach or press. We can turn the click sound on and off. There's the current temperature outside. Here's the different areas you can install it. Or you can just type it or add a spot if not. I have mine in the hallway so it doesn't matter. Language, date and time, equipment. You can kind of uh, see the cables that are plugged in for this setup. I just have a pretty basic setup. But any, any cables you have plugged in will show you there. There's Nest Pro if you have this professional installed. I installed it myself so it doesn't matter technical info, all that good stuff. Alright, so we'll go back. Um, there we go. You, this is where you can turn the cool heat or if you are in an area where the heat runs at night and AC kicks off, uh, or AC kicks on during the day, you can set that in there. Um, you have the fan option or you can turn it on or have it on automatic. 
here's an energy uh, section so you can see how much uh, energy you've been using. It's cool, you can kind of see the, how long it's ran and get an average and stuff. If you want, I haven't really ran it that much as you can see. We'll just run it back here. And then you have your schedule. I just have it auto learn. Of all my temperatures, I pretty much just keep it at 60 or 78. I've been temperature haven't been too bad lately. So let's get back out of here. And that's basically it. Settings. I'm just gonna take it off the wall, show you the inside real quick. There you can see uh, all the different cables. I have like you see yellow, green. I have the common wire installed. I had to run that. That wasn't a, a huge deal, um, but it was. Uh, the cable was already there. I just had to plug it in more or less. Um, as you can see, the only thing I didn't show you during the unboxing was it came with this back plate here, and then it um, there was another metal back plate which I didn't have to install. I guess if you have an electrical box right here, you can install it on top of that. But um, there's just two screws and then once you plug this thing in you can kind of see where the little button here gets pushed in once you plug the cable and that kind of knows you have a, a good secure connection um, and that's basically it. It's a nice little device kind of gives you a level there to when you're installing it and this thing just snaps back on. There we have it. So if you guys have any questions on this Nest um, I'm going to do a little bit on the app, show you what the app looks like all right, here we go with the Nest remote application. This is on the iPad. It looks identical on the iPhone. This can be accessed whether you're on Wi-Fi or whether you're on your cellular connection. So first thing you see here is um, whether it's set as home or as away. If I was um, away and it automatically set me as away, you'd see auto away down here at the bottom. It's currently thermostat set to 78. You can see temperature inside 76. You can change that dial as you see fit, if you'd like, um, by clicking the up and down arrows, or you can just click and drag. As you can see, inside humidity is 51, outside temp 73. Here's where you can set the thermostat to heating and cooling, or uh, both, or you can just turn it off if you'd like. You can set the fan as an hour, two hour, or four hour. Schedule, if you'd like to set that up, then a better view for you. You can you have see the days are across the far left, and then you have the hours at the bottom there. I pretty much have 78 set all the time. You can go in here and add time, as you can see, add or move at the bottom. Do what you would like, set your time to whatever. I don't care, I'm not setting anything. I just leave mine how it was, auto-programmed. And then you have a history of what you have used. So, pretty basic app, pretty um, straightforward. There's just no, um, I've had no issues with it overall. Um, never had any connectivity issues or anything like that. It's all, it's all worked effortlessly. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below and thanks for watching.